have to eat the toppings, Katie, not just the bread. You just said the one thing I asked you not to do. Research shows that if you force a child to eat vegetables, then they'll be less likely to choose those foods as adults. Is that so? Yes. Experts say the preferred method is to give your child the choice. It's called the division of responsibility. So we need to talk about school. Can I bring Megan? Katie, you know that's not possible. Then I'm not going. Oh, come on, Katie. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Let's just talk about it. Hey, hey, hey. Let me go. Whoa. Hey. What's going on? Hey, Katie. Go. What are you doing? Stop it. Katie, calm down. Let her go. <laughs> Megan, turn off. Are you sure? Studies indicate that a staggering 78% of a parent's time is spent dishing out the same basic instructions. Oh my god, Katie, you have to flush the toilet. It is not that hard. So he found someone else to pick up the slack. Katie, flush the toilet. Flush your hands. Roll up your sleeves. Great job. It was my friend Jenny's birthday. And Megan's an excellent listener. This guy told them that the 13th floor mm -hmm. was haunted. And, and she even has a few stories of her own. If it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. That's logic. Said Tweedledee. She'll never run out of ways to keep your child occupied. And she'll never run out of patience. Katie, seriously, flush the toilet. With Megan around, she'll take care of the little things so you can spend more time doing the things that matter. You're just a stupid rubber doll with fake hair. <gasps> Ow! Let go! You need to learn some manners, Brandon. You know what happens to bad boys that don't mind their manners? They grow up to be bad men. Are you listening to me, Brandon? Megan? This is the part where you run. I thought I heard something. It sounded like Megan. If she comes in this room, I'll rip your head right off your neck, I swear to God. I thought about what you said. About how when something's broken, you don't just throw it away, you fix it. So that's what I'm trying to do. But don't come in here, Katie, it's kind of a mess. Aunt Jem is right, Katie. I'm all odds and ends right now. I'd really rather you didn't see me like this. <gasps> it sounds like you're fighting. We're, We're not, not fighting. fighting! Gemma just dropped me on the table, but I'm okay. Clumsy Gemma. Don't provoke us or we will. It's insane! Katie, you lost your parents. Welcome home. You're my niece. I'm gonna do everything I can to make this place feel like home. I just wish I could see them again. I'm not equipped to handle this. I don't even take care of my own plants. I have this project at work. Do you wanna see? Yes. Ever since I was little, I dreamed of this perfect toy that would protect a kid from ever feeling lonely or sad. This is Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Katie. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Okay. Megan, your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. Is that a doll? Model 3 generative. Android. Megan, for short. I can't believe you made this. I love it. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sounds like fun. Great job. It's nice to have a friend. It's honestly like she's part of the family now. They could be building emotional connections that are too hard to untangle. She's the happiest she's been since her parents died. Eat the toppings, Katie. Research shows if you force a child to eat vegetables, they'll be less likely to choose those foods as adults. Is that so? Yes. Experts say... Megan, turn off. I thought we were having a conversation. Does she talk? Make her say something. Stop! Don't! Megan! You should probably run. <laughs> Megan, she pushed Brandon onto the road. I won't let anything harm you.
Recalibrating response model. <laughs> Megan! What's wrong with you? Don't worry, Katie. I won't let anything harm you. Ever again. get accused of being the master of killer doll movies. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. You're going to pair with her. It's insane, right? She's designed to be the ideal companion. Megan, your goal is to protect Katie from harm. Is the input request received? 100%. As her AI evolves, she becomes very protective of Katie. I won't let anything harm you. And it's pretty terrifying. Megan, what are you doing? Couldn't sleep. Occupational hazard. <laughs> I think people need to be reminded of the fact that this technology is here. We're not that far from something like Megan existing, and that is pretty unsettling. Listening to me, Brandon. She can really creepy, but playful at the same time. You know, just before she's about to kind of cut someone in half. <laughs> Recalibrating response model. This movie is really fun. Did you make him do something bad? <laughs> but it's still a horror film. It's terrifying. You're gonna walk out of the theater and feel like that was creepy as. F you should probably run. Don't worry, Katie. I won't let anything harm you. Ever again. Don't scare. Don't provoke us or we will. Go. I'm Megan. Do you want to hang out? Megan. 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 Is so sweet and nice. Great job, Katie. Megan has so much personality. It's insane, right? She's like a homeschool teacher. Best friend. The ideal companion. I won't let anything harm you. She's just this effervescent, beaming ray of light. Until she goes batch crazy. Oh, don't I look nice? Batting my eyes, isn't it pure perfection? This film is intense, iconic, strange, constantly unsettling. When the head just goes like that. No, that was very creepy. You should probably run. Go see this movie in a theater with a big group of people. It will make you unplug all your devices. I have a new primary user now. Me. Yeah, people might have a bit of an uneasy sleep over this one. <laughs> Nothing bad happens, it's a comedy. Um... It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Okay. <laughs> you put Blumhouse and James Wan together, they're just two titans of this industry. What the hell is that? I get accused of being the master of killer doll movies. Occupational hazard. James Wan is a legend in the horror genre. Are you sure? <laughs> Blumhouse movies, they are my favorites and them teaming up with James. It's just so exciting. It's been almost 10 years since James and I last worked together. And we've always wanted to come together again. Jesus Christ, I thought we were friends. One more, it's looking great. Bringing Gerard on to direct brought Megan to life. His vision was perfect for the tone of the movie. He is terrific at balancing horror. This really dark humor. <laughs> Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? I know you think you're maximizing your objective function. Oh, really? <laughs> I think people are gonna have a blast when they see this film. The idea of Blumhouse and James Wan teaming up is just great for horror movies. <laughs> it's a real powerhouse duo, and it's exciting to see what they'll come up with next. <laughs> what are you? I'm Megan. <laughs> Baby, don't provoke us or we will. Hehehe! <laughs>